In the most simple format, I would say inclusivity means to not leave anyone out. When I think about diversity and inclusion, I think about including people's differences. It's what gives society the opportunity to evolve. When people are included, people feel a little bit more comfortable to be who they are and be their true self. Making a space that's welcoming to everyone. I think Bread Street does a good job of just kind of opening their doors up and saying they don't really care who comes in, which is like the best policy you could have. I was thinking about this question a lot. On my first day of full time, I was told that we had to wear pink ballet tights. We're in 2022 and I feel like what Bread Street can do and prove is try and cater for all types of skin colors. The way some teachers address a class, like, okay, I want the boys to go in the last group. Can we change that to maybe, can people who want to present this dance in a masculine way or present this dance in a feminine way, can we go in this group? I think a very big goal for Brent Street would be for enrollment forms to not have any gender information so everyone feels comfortable so that they can just come and not have to worry about being stereotypical to one gender. To see them diversify their, their talent pool by making it more accessible, people would be so amazing to see. I feel like it shouldn't just be everyone being equal. I feel like it should be people acknowledging people's differences and loving them for their differences and bringing everyone up as a whole. I think when we amplify voices and make sure diversity is a priority, everyone's idea is within a space are so much more interesting and so much more valuable and connected. I think it's about people with that privilege speaking up for people that don't.